Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the Mind of an Terry's Moon. Flight boss, the Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I want to talk about how God thinks. Now, whether you choose to believe this or not, even if you are an atheist, you are able, you are going to be able to understand this. You see what I'm saying? So, whatever name you want to call it, the source or, or Big Bang or whatever, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. Now, if you are a spiritual person, right? Um, you're going to be able to understand this from a spiritual level. Now, I need you to understand this. Now, when I talk about the spirit, you have to be the most unbiased. You have to be in the most unbiased place, the, in the most balanced place. And when I talk about balance, I'm not talking about balanced on this level. I'm talking about raising your frequency vibration to the point that you're on higher levels and you could balance up there and go up and down up there so you can be receiving information up there and not be indoctrinated by certain lower entities and having to go through a certain initiations and go through experiences over and over with initiations till you learn that you was just channeling them to go to another another initiation and things of that nature. So you need to keep that in mind also. Now for the most part once you want now and then this is what y'all need to understand also a lot of times y'all put your own self in jail cells because y'all put names and titles and concepts around something that is just is what it is now something that is what it is means that this is what our spirits is here to do anyway so it doesn't matter what civilization what name and titles that they was given it this is the same thing that's actually been going on over and over and over again. So cut off the names and the titles and the, and the dates and the history that y'all given this. And we're just going to understand this from a spiritual concept to understand what's actually going on. So once we understand what we've been doing, which is three energy signatures, there's only three energy signatures that we've been doing. Everything else is derived from that. And you need to understand that everything comes from expansion and contraction. Expansion. Go to my video. Expansion and contraction. This, everything derives from that, and you will understand uh, to, the more depth into this right here. Now, for the most part, as spirits taking on all forms of physical shapes and things of that nature, this is what we actually been doing. Now, this is what we're here to do. First, create. Second, relate. Third, civilization. So, it doesn't matter how... How we how we did it, whether we did it in a bad way, good way, that's besides the fact. That doesn't mean nothing to the overall, to the overall as aspect. We just need to know what program, what what energy signatures is going on, what properties is going on, what what's the actual natural concept of what's going on without any form of indoctrination being around it. Is to create, which is imagination and dreams. Then second is to relate which is combining our dreams and imaginations. And then third, civilization, building and expanding with our imaginations and dreams together. You get it? Now, this is what we've been doing in every civilization, no matter if it was good, uh, how, good in a good or bad way, this is your perception. You have to take yourself out of this. Now, we, now we're getting into how God think. Now, remind you everything is expansion contraction so now we finna get into how god think like i remind you you have to be in the most unbiased balanced place ever and you're going to be able to understand this whether you're an atheist or whatever now check this out this helps god expand to the point of transformation what you perceive as a flood or the end of a government or the end of a calendar or the end of a civilization that's how it will play out in the lower life but in the higher, with the awe, it's just a form of expansion, more information. You see what I'm saying? Now, so you will look at it as a downfall. Now, regardless of what names, titles, or if it was good or bad of a downfall and morality and things of that nature, that's besides the fact to it overall. You see what I'm saying? That's what, this is what I'm talking about. You have to be in an unbiased space spiritually, in the spirit realm, but also, also in a higher realm. Now, here's come the contraction part. Now the contraction comes into play which will you perceive as desertness or lostness or emptiness. You see what I'm saying? And, and what that means is the next expansion is going to be much, much greater. So you can look at it almost like contraction is almost like God going to sleep. Or you know what I'm saying? Or, or in your realm of reality is kind of desertness and lostness and emptiness and things of that nature. But that's, that's 
where you're going to get a greater expansion. Now, if you go to my video, Expansion and Contraction, you know that the more expansion, the lesser the contraction because of the things that came in between. So, you know, it just perceived as a bigger body now or more information, more knowledge. Now, during this expansion, this is where you get all concepts of multiplying or be fruitful or, you know what I'm saying, uh, or fill the land and things of that nature because that's a new buildup, a new civilization, a new awake, a new horizon, you know what I'm saying, a new expansion, a new give off, a new yang, you know what I'm saying, a new conscious. And then that's be fruitful and then another, another, another form of spirits plan out in new shapes and forms of create, relate, and civilization. Then once it, once it build up to the maximum expansion, and once it reached the limits of the expansion of uh, of the parameter, because that's what God is, is like a parameter of expansion contraction. It's like a it's like a a ceiling or a land that's not there yet until you actually get there. This is where the concept comes from that you can't hear a tree fall if you're not in that area. So you don't know that land exists unless you have traveled that land. And that land in each realm of reality could be an extension of a parameter. And that extension of a parameter could transform you because it may consist of uh, uh, elements that overwhelm you and what I mean by that is a, is a world for an example you in this realm of reality in the third dimension reaching your parameter and your expansion and contraction is jumping off a roof you know what I'm saying if you was to jump off a roof in this physical form you you that expansion you you going over the parameter so that's the form of transformation you would take that form of transformation now which I call life and death life and death is an illusion it's just transformation that's all it is it's transformation so if you want to know how God think you have to first understand what we're doing with no with no indoctrinations and tied to it what we're doing as spirits and what we want to do as spirits and what we are supposed to do as spirits is, is create imagine uh, create relate civilization create deals with imagination and dreams relate uh, deals with relating our imagination and dreams and civilization mean building and expanding on our imagination and dreams together and then in a higher realm when it comes to God right this helps God expand to the point of transformation in that realm which is beautiful but in this realm in this realm y'all tied a bunch of other shit to it right and then and then it goes to contraction which is also the same going without you know what I'm saying? Go, or going to sleep, or resting, or rejuvenating. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready for the next expansion, for the next rise. And as that in this realm, it'd be perceived as lostness or perceivedness, but in the higher realm, it's, it's, it's in a form of rebuilding, um, tearing down and rebuilding. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's, you're not supposed to tie anything to it where y'all get religious and things of that nature and get indoctrinated. And, you know, and during the expansion, this is where everything comes from, where it's saying be fruitful of the land. Expand. Because this is what we're here to do. Create, relate, civilization. Now, the, the moment y'all start tying on rights and wrongs and moralities and things of that nature to these three energy signatures is the moment we get lost. Those are the moments of the first lies. Those are the moments of the first languages. Those are the moments of the first, you know what I'm saying, the first lies. Even even, even when you want to talk about one of the, here's another Lucifer lie. Um, where we get to talking about, see, Lucifer is is the body of light, right? But we, we know anciently, and even if I'm Archangel Uriel and I'm the only one teaching this now, we even know this now, because uh, I'm here. Spirits take bodies, right? So we take forms of light, forms of bacteria, depending on what kind of spirit you are and what kind of level of life you're trying to experience at the time, right? So we take forms of cells and fluids and things of that nature and, the tra and we transform these things to our liking based upon the dimension. Now, for the most part, when you talk about Lucifer, Lucifer is the light bringer. So Lucifer is the name of it. So this is when you say the sun. You're talking about the spirit of that body that you're looking at now. So for the most part, whoever the sun is, that's the frequency vibration that's being pushed out on the world. And that's all the concepts that y'all trying to indoctrinate yourself with or unindoctrinate yourself with. And once upon a time, it was Helios. I once to put it you see what I'm saying? So when we talk about Lucifer, Lucifer is the light bringer. This motherfucker is a higher spirit that know how to take those kind of bodies and not get lost in those kind of bodies. So when you look at Lucifer, Lucifer, he came and brought the uh, the motherfucking science here of saying that I'm the light. A actually saying so it's confusing you and it makes you think that the spirit is a light. So now you think forms of light is the spirit. So this is Lucifer form of con a form of a man trying to tell you to worship man in certain ways. So 
when you look at it in a way, shape, or form of uh, the Virgin Mary. This is now here's here's Lucifer trying to get birthed in and trying to mimic mimic the actuality of God and, and but in a shape and form. So here where you get all kind of stories of a uh, virgin birth and shit like that, right? But what, here's what remain to be seen. Here, you got. Forget the words and the indoctrination. You have to pay attention to what's actually happening. What's actually happening is still some unseen shit. You see what I'm saying? And then that's all you need to care about. That's all you need to know. So that's all you need to know the spirit is attached to. Some unseen shit. So Lucifer is coming as a spirit, but he's lying to you in bodies of light. This is a body of light. This is this a denser one. You know what I'm saying? So it may cast shadows and shit like that, like Saturn and shit. But, you know, Lucifer come in bodies of light and, and, and he come in the name of that light. He come in the name of God, but he's trying to he's trying to say he's God in that light. So this is why people want to get enlightened or people think they're consciously aware or people think they take the spirit in them or they said oh i got the spirit and shit that's that's lucifer you see what i'm saying because it lucifer is a spirit but he he since it's in the spirit realm he he knows shit like i know in, in the spirit realm so he know how god think and shit like that so he had come in the come in a body which is a body of light so he's the light bringer. He'll come in a body of light and create shapes and forms and concepts and ideas with that light to make you think he's God. So now you so now you think a form or a shape is God. You think perfection is God. You you don't think chaos is God. You think perfection. You think shape and form and light in, in a form of density and practicality and stability and structure. You think that kind of shit is so anything that's that's chaotic or new experienced in your life, you get scared of that. But that's really God. So you're really scared of God. You really you really love Lucifer. You see what I'm saying? So so Lucifer come in that light. So here's one of the here's one of Lucifer lies here. Uh, a virgin a virgin birth. So now you got uh, Virgin Mary being birthed by the Holy Ghost. Now the Holy Ghost we know you know in any realm of reality that for someone to be pregnant it takes male sperm but then they're gonna say in the Bible is um, or they're gonna say it was God sperm see that's a Lucifer lie right there right because what remain is unseen but what came into play was what was seen so that's another way of Lucifer coming in trying to take a shape and form and trying to play out like he's something that's why his monkey ass got fucking killed because he tried to come in the form of Jesus see this is and Lucifer is Jesus it's a whole bunch of different shit but you got to be spiritually inclined to really understand but for the most part this that's all indoctrination you got to get out of that indoctrination and then understand what's actually going on see god wants you to experience he wants you to be happy so as a spirit as a spirit as an offspring of god you can never be god you're just of god same way you got children your children is not you they're just a piece of you but they're not you you see what i'm saying so for the most part you could teach your, your parents something and your parent could teach you. Your parent could teach you what's there to come and you could teach your and then you could teach your parent what's there that you have learned as a form of expansion what they don't know. So it's see this it's the same energy going on that y'all just overlooking and bypassing. But it's the same shit going on in every civilization. So as a spirit, this is what we are here to do besides tying the names and the analogies and y'all languages to it. As spirits, we're here to create, relate, and civilization. It create is our imagination and dreams. Relate is combining our imagined dreams together and civilization is building and expanding on our imagined dreams. Now, and this helps God expand to the point that it could cause transformation, which is beautiful, which is what y'all call life and death, but that's transformation. Then a contraction is when it's all deserted, but it's all rest and it's ready for the rebuild because the expansion is going to be that much greater next time. So when you look at civilizations, haven't, haven't we been expanding? You see what I'm saying? You have to understand what the spirit is doing and get and don't get lost into the physical shapes and forms and symbols and lights with the Lucifer shit. Flight boss bitch, goddamn. Air, flight boss bitch, get up out of hell.